Hey, what's good, people? My name is the 12th man, and I am the newest commentator for Team Hydra. And I really just want to say thank you to Rocky Cinemas for giving me the opportunity to join this clan. It really does mean a lot to me. And before I get into the commentary topic, I just want to let you guys know about the gameplay. This gameplay was not made by me. This gameplay was made by Hydra Swoosh. Uh, he goes on a 65 gun streak on the map retreat using one of my favorite guns in the game, the IMR. And first things first, I just want to say that I can never get these types of gameplays for my channel because Michael Condry fucking hates me and he wants me to have the least amount of fun with Advanced Warfare. So yeah, don't expect these type of gameplays on my channel, but if you go to his channel, he has a bunch of wicked gameplays just like this one. So I highly suggest you go to his channel and go check him out. But anyway, let's move on to the commentary topic. So in this commentary topic, I want to talk about the next gen consoles. Now, if you guys aren't aware, it is a new year. It's 2015. That means a whole new year of gaming is ahead of us. And I want to ask you guys this question. Do you think that this year should be the year that all console gamers should go out and buy a next gen console? Now, personally, I think yes. I think all console gamers should go out and buy a next gen console this year because a lot of good games are coming out and I personally believe that all of these good games should be experienced on next gen console hardware. You see guys, 2015 is not gonna be that much of a dry season compared to 2014 because in 2014, not a lot of games came out for the next generation consoles, but a lot of good games are coming out this year for the next generation consoles and you really do not wanna miss out on those titles. So that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the number one reason why I think you guys should get a next gen console in 2015. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is that a lot of you guys have probably already decided that you are gonna get a next gen console this year however you're probably deciding on which one you should get the ps4 or the xbox one now keep in mind i only own one of the next gen consoles and that is the ps4 however i don't want to start a console war i'm not bashing the xbox one by any means necessary because i personally want to pick one up in the future because i'm really excited for halo 5 but yeah i currently own a ps4 at the moment so yeah i'm basically going to be talking about my experience with ps4 and personally, I've had my PS4 since Christmas Day of 2013, and I really think it's an outstanding piece of hardware. The games are good, the user interface is great. The only problem I have with the PS4 is PSN. I really don't like the PSN network. I really do believe Xbox Live is better, but then again, that's not really that big of a deal, but yeah, I'm not really a big fan of PSN. It just feels unreliable to me. Now, I don't wanna talk about the PS4 too long, but I do recommend that you look into the PlayStation 4 if you're looking into a next-gen console. However, I'm gonna give you guys two tips that are gonna be really helpful in your next-gen console decision. So the first tip that I wanna give you guys are console exclusives. Now the PS4 and the Xbox One are going to get the same third-party games. Look at their exclusives. For an example, Sony has Uncharted and Ratchet and Clank. Microsoft has Halo and Gears. You can make your next-gen console decision off of this tip. If you enjoy playing Halo more than Uncharted, then get an Xbox One. If you enjoy Uncharted more than Halo, then get a PS4. This is kind of how I made my next-gen console decision because really the only Microsoft exclusive that nearly interests me is Halo. Because like I said earlier in the video, I am very excited for Halo 5. That is the main reason why I'm getting an Xbox One. But I want to get a PS4 because I never really dove in into the Sony exclusives. So yeah, I basically based my next-gen decision off of exclusives. And the next tip I want to give you guys, and this is actually probably a very important tip, your friends. If you know some real life friends or even people that you work with on YouTube and whatnot who own a next gen console, if the majority of your friends are on a certain console, then you might as well just get that console. For an example, if the majority of your real life friends are on PlayStation 4, then you might as well just get a PS4 because video games are more fun with your friends anyway. So yeah, you can use that tip to help make your next gen console decision as well. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say in this commentary. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this commentary. And also let me know in the comment section below, are you thinking about getting a next gen console in 2015? And also, if you do own a next gen console, let me know in the comment section below why you picked that next gen console over the other one and what games you're excited for in 2015. 
But once again, thank you for watching this video. If you really did enjoy this commentary, come on over to my channel and check me out. Subscribe if you want to. The link will be in the description below. Leave a like for myself and Team Hydra. And if you really want more great commentaries and beast gameplays, subscribe to Team Hydra, man. Well, anyway, that's about it. I'll catch you guys on the flip. Thanks for watching. Peace.